Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. In this video, I'll show you how you can make your very own customized arcade game. Now, this project is free to do, but it does require a program to download called Game Maker 7.0. The first thing you'll need to do is to create a bunch of sprites for your game using an image editor like GIMP or something. You want to create all the sprites that you see here. Then create a new game and then right click under sprite and select create sprite to create all the sprites. Then type in the name, click load image, and then select the image that you created and then be sure to check smooth edges and then click OK. And repeat this process for all the sprites that you need to Okay, the next thing you'll need to do is to create these six sounds for your game. And you can get these sounds from anywhere. A lot come with the game itself. And then just right click under sound, select create sound, type in the name of the sound, click load sound, and select the, uh, the sound that you created for it. Now make sure that for the background sound that you select, that you check background music, and then just click OK. Alright, next we're going to create a background image. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You can use any image. Just click load background and, and we'll move on. The next part for scripting, you can find a copy of the script at the link there. Um, and then just create a script for random movement for the villain. Um, and uh, you can just follow along here or just copy and paste the script from the download link that I provided for you. This next part I'm going to go through it really fast, so feel free to pause the video anytime you want a better explanation, or even just play it in slow motion.
Alright, this next part's a little bit more fun than the last part. We're going to create rooms. Now to do this, just select Create Room. You can create as many as you want. Set it to 480 by 480. And then type in the name of the room. For the speed, set it to 20. And for the grid, set it to 32 by 32. Then select your background image. And uh, then select your wall object. And holding down the Shift key, you can uh, just kind of draw out the room that you want and you can make any sort of designs um, or you can just uh, follow along with my designs uh, that you can find on tinkernut.com then the next thing you want to do is select the point uh, and place them in random spots throughout the game um, I kind of put mine in every other square. And then you want to select the star point and uh, just set those in various places also. Then the next thing you want to select is the villain. And make sure to uncheck where it says delete underlying so that you can uh, put icons on top of each other. Then place the bonus and then place the hero. And then save the game and click the execute button and you'll be able to play it. And that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to tinkernut.com.